Hello, John here and welcome to another of my Toon Boom Harmony tutorial videos. This series is called Toon Boom Harmony Basics and I am showing new users to Harmony um, how to make an animation from scratch. So in the last episode I showed you how I like to set up my windows and also what preferences I like to set. And, and, and now we're ready to kind of start the animation. But first of all I want to say a big thank you for everyone who watched the last episode. Um, I asked you to vote on the theme of the animation, so I gave you the option of Batman or Star Wars, and the winning vote was Batman. So this animation in this series will be based on Batman. So thank you for that and for all your comments as well. Um, so obviously in today's episode I'm going to be basically drawing Batman for you and showing you how I do that. So the brush tool is obviously the third one down on the toolbar, which is the little paintbrush. And over in the tool properties, you have all the different options that you can uh, uh, change for your brush. Now, the good thing about Harmony is it comes with lots of presets. So you know, when you get into the animation, you can start drawing straight away. The first brush is a simple vector uh, brush stroke, which is very nice as it is. Um, and again, right down the options, it comes down to some different um, textured brushes as well, which you can use, which again, I think look really awesome. I don't use textures a huge amount on brushes, I have to admit, but they do look very, very cool. So one thing I would recommend though, is creating a new brush per production. And to do that, you just click on the little plus symbol with, uh, above the presets, and it opens a, a new preset window. So I'm gonna call this one Batman, so I know what brush it is. And then to change this brush or any of the other brushes, you just click on this big arrow next to the, um, the sort of example, and that opens the properties of that brush. So the maximum size is currently 15. So I think I'm going to go for about 20 and I'm going to make the minimum size 20%. Now let's go 15% of that. Um, smoothing. So basically smoothing means that the computer smooths your drawings for you. So if you want to as a natural um, pen look as possible, then make that zero. If you, if you want it to look nice and smooth, then obviously it changes that. So for example, this is without... I'm going to turn off the texture first without any smoothing at all it will stay pretty much as it is. If I turn up the smoothing you'll see that when I let go of my pen it will actually smooth the drawing quite a lot and so obviously it does change the kind of quality of your line so obviously make sure you're happy with that and then obviously the tip shape is um, well, the shape of your tip of, the, of your pen as such so you, it, obviously the circle is the standard one and it goes down to styles and all sorts so you can pick the one that you feel suits your production best. I'm going to go for the basic standard round one Maximum 20, 20 points with 15% minimum and no smoothing. So when you're happy with your options, you have to click on this little, um, this, 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 the second brush button, which is update brush preset. Make sure you press that and then it will save it. And you can close that. And then your brush now is this one here. So I know whenever, whenever I'm going to draw anything for this production, I'm going to use the Batman brush. Um, so I'll delete this now. So there are a few other things that I want to mention before I actually start drawing. The first one is you can obviously draw with the pencil tool rather than the brush tool. And again, the uh, in the tool properties of the pencil, the options look very, very similar and they work in exactly the same way. So you can change them, add new ones, etc. The difference is when we use a pencil tool to sketch, it will look pretty much the same as the brush. For example, if I do one very similar, they look pretty much the same. If you click on the contour editor, which is the second one, and highlight the pencil line, you'll see that it has a central line that you can control. If I click on the brush one, you'll see that the control points are on the outside. So this does give you a lot more flexibility with the sort of shape of your line and the kind of and how you and a more artistic line, I suppose. Where this one is is more of a fixed shape, so and a fixed width. Um, so again, it really depends on what you're looking for. I personally like to sketch and draw with a brush, um, but I, and I tend to finish off my drawings either with the pencil tool or with the line line tools over here. Um, so again, it depends on what you prefer to do. But that's another another option. So as well as vector lines, you can also create bitmap layers so, so, so in the same way that Photoshop has. To do that, just create a new drawing layer, and then well, I'll call this bitmap. And then just change the option to bitmap. Now you might want to only select the line art layer uh, and keep all the others vector, or you might want all of them, but it's up to you. But for now, I'll just change them all to bitmap. And now, when now when you click on the um, brush tool over here, you'll see some of your tools are uh, obviously not allowed anymore. 
But um, if you click on the brush tool, you'll see that the, the there's a lot more different textured brushes now. So we can go through these and just give you an example. Oh, what am I on? So that's a ballpoint pen. We have a marker pen. There's lots of different options. Airbrush marker, etc. Textured wash. Lots and lots. And these work in exactly the same way again. So you can change these and make new presets, etc. If you want to. Again, I I very, very rarely, if, if at all, use bitmap layers. I haven't had any need to yet. I use vector mainly almost all the time. But again, that is an option for you. Just don't forget you need to get to get those options, you make you have to make sure your drawing layer is a bitmap layer rather than a vector. Okay, so I think that's basically the options covered. So I'm going to start do, doing my drawing now. So the default drawing layer, when you open it, always comes with this plus symbol next to it. And if, you, if you've watched my previous video, you'll know about the settings and changing that. Um, but we don't really want to be able to add movement or pegs or keyframes to our drawing layers. So first of all, I'm going to draw, create a new drawing layer, and I'm going to call this Batman Sketch. I want it to all be vector and I'll add and close. Now because I've changed my settings you'll see that this drawing layer has no plus symbol next to it. So I'm now going to delete the other one because I don't want that. I'm going to do all my drawing on this Batman sketch layer. Now the next thing I like to do is always create a new palette. So up here under palettes I'm going to click new and I'm going to name this Batman and say OK. And now you'll see that my palette down here only has one default colour in it. So I'm going to keep that one and I'm going to click the plus button to create a new one. Now it always creates the new one based on the one you're currently selected on. So it kind of copies it and then you can amend it. So I'm going to call this sketch. Now I always sketch in blue. I don't know why. It's, I used to have a blue animation pencil when I was at university. And I think I'm always stuck with the blue. So I'm going to pick a, a light bluish and then close that down. And you'll see that's within my Batman palette. So I'm going to select my paintbrush and I'm going to go and find my Batman um, brush in the options. So we're ready to sketch. So I like to draw directly into the camera window here. You of course can draw on the drawing layer uh, if you want to, which is completely acceptable. It just, it just depends on how you like to, to work. Um, but I like to do it in the camera window. And to make it easier for, for to see, I'm just going to create a colour card which is white. Um, and then go back to my drawing layer using the blue pencil. Now the first thing, that when I sort of first started using Harmony, the thing that I struggled with the most was working out how big to do my drawings. You know, should I do them within this frame size um, or does it really matter? And in the end I kind of worked out that, you know, I always focus on the smallest detail first. So for example if the eye is the smallest part of the body or they're wearing a little necklace or a ring, I, I basically do a quick test sketch of of that. So for our character, for example, we're going to be doing the bat logo. So if I just do a very very rough um, bat logo, just in within this size, I can see what kind of detail level I can get from my pen. Now that for me is probably a bit small, so I want to do it a little bit bigger. So something around here. Again, I'm just doing this really roughly, just to kind of give myself an idea of the pen in this size now that works for me so I'm going to stick with this one as, as just my guide size for that part now I can base the rest of my character around this size piece so I've got my sketches on my sketchbook next to me here I've, I've gone through a few different designs but I've gone for one that's reasonably quirky so I'll basically shut up now and um, I'll get on with, with, with drawing the character
Okay, so I've finished my sketch now. Here is the sketch layer. Um, and I'm kind of happy with the overall design and the feel to it. I did make some sort of amendments as I went and thinking about the animation, but I'm kind of happy now with the basic gist of the character. So now I'm going to do another layer. So I'll draw another layer, layer and call this Batman and add and close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the final drawing drawing on this layer. Uh, so I'll say I'm going to use my default color now rather than the blue. And I'm going to go to my drawing layer and now you need to make sure that your light box is turned on which is this little light bulb symbol at the top there to make sure that you can see the, uh, the layers underneath. Um, now there's two ways of doing this. You can either use the brush as we did it with the sketch layer but just with a bit more control maybe. Or what you can do is the same, same as in my minion series, you can use the line tools to create um, the outside lines. If you're looking for a really polished sort of final finish to the character, you can use the um, line tools to make a nice neat line. Also you can adjust this uh, afterwards to make it the size you want it to be, for example. Um, but I think as I, did, as I did that in my last series, I will use the brush tool for this one. So what I'm going to do is, is literally just go slowly over the character now and add the final lines. So again, I'll be quiet and just get on with doing the drawing. So with the Batman logo, I've decided to use the ellipse tool to get a nice shape for it. So what you can do is you can create it with a line tool like this, and then over here you can um, select the brush to pencil tool uh, option, and that will then change it to a pencil line. So now it's the same as the others. So now I'll just finish off the Bat logo. Okay, so that's the kind of drawing part done. So I'm going to turn off the light box. Now you'll see that there are a few lines that overlap and stuff. So what we can do is we can use the cutter tool, which is under the select tool, and just find those lines and just swipe over them and you'll see that it takes away the extra lines. So we'll get rid of the ones that we don't want, that shouldn't be there. You can obviously keep them if you want to, because we'll be cutting up the character ready for um, animation. So you, you, could, you could leave them there because you'll probably need most of the lines to fill in the gaps. But just for now, we'll get the character looking pretty finished. Um, if you get areas like this that don't join, you can use the contour editor just to select those final points there and drag them up and connect them. There's a weird thing going on here, you see, where we've got two lines overlapping. So this one and this one. There's a little blob there, I'm not sure about that. We'll get rid of that. And here there's a little bit doesn't look quite very this this doesn't look very nice. So I'll just use the contour editor just to pull down. 
and try and join that up a little bit. I'm not that happy with that shape, that could be a bit rounder. Another little trick is if you've got something that's a bit ugly, like this little bit of section here, if you highlight the two bits that are a bit ugly, or maybe even this bit here as well, we can go over here and flatten those sections so it makes them one. And again, we can use the contour editor just to get rid of the lump and the bumps and stuff. So we can get rid of these and we can play with the um, little control points just to make them a bit nicer. This stuff here is a little bit, so there's two minutes, there's a big blob of stuff here. So we can get rid of some of those bits to make that a bit nicer. Okay, so I've now finished the uh, drawing stage of our of our character, and in the next video, I will I will color him and go through all the kind of options with the the fill tools. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope it's been helpful to you. If you do have any questions about the drawing uh, tools in Toon Boom Harmony, then please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, if you like my videos, please do subscribe by clicking on the button above me. And if you want to watch one of my previous videos, then please click on one of the moving buttons above my head. And I'll be back hopefully very soon with the uh, colouring video. All right, thanks for watching.